Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. If you spend your day entirely in the office, typing documents, working them Excel sheets and sitting in meetings for hours, but you also want a laptop that still doesn't look it was designed in the 90s, doesn't force you to carry a power brick all the time and still delivers a ton of performance thanks to its dedicated GPU, well then the Lenovo ThinkPad Z16 might be the answer for you. Thanks to the sleek and not too plain design and powerful core components, this one might even be interesting for content creators or power users that need a lot of portable processing power. And with the AMD RX 6500M, even gaming isn't completely off the table. If the all new, all AMD ThinkPad is a proper contender against the likes of the recent MacBook Pros, Dell's XPS lineup or even Lenovo's very own X1 Extreme, we will tell you in our review. Our review unit comes with AMD's Ryzen 7 Pro 6850H, the before mentioned RX 6500M, 32GB of RAM, a 1TB SSD and a 16-inch 16x10 Full HD panel. This hardware is wrapped in a very nice aluminium chassis that feels exceptionally premium. I also like the newly established design language for the set lineup since I always felt like the ThinkPads look a bit plain to be honest. But the silver outer chassis with the signature camera bump and the black keyboard deck just look really tasty. The chassis also feels the part with only minimal give when pushing really hard on the keyboard deck. But during regular use, the ThinkPad will for sure not disappoint when it comes to build quality. In addition, it is also one of the most compact, lightest and thinnest notebooks in comparison to the competition. In stark contrast, the port situation left us a little wanting. While the only USB-C trend is quite common in thin and light premium notebooks, it also presents a unique opportunity for companies to set themselves apart. But not so for the Z16. While the free USB-C ports are USB 4 enabled and therefore in theory offer the same feature set as Thunderbolt 4, support with Thunderbolt hardware is all but guaranteed. That said, our Thunderbolt 4 Cal Digit docking station worked absolutely fine, while my Sonnet 10G Thunderbolt adapter wasn't working, so your mileage will vary. The Z16 can score some points with the full-size SD card reader that offers average copy rates but stellar read speeds and the included 4G module. Just be careful to put it into your configuration when ordering the Z16, since you cannot upgrade it later. In wireless communication, the ThinkPad offers no reason to complain and offers very fast and stable transfers. For your next Zoom meeting, Lenovo equipped the AMD ThinkPad with a 1080p camera. It looks clearer than most and should be alright for your everyday webcam needs. That said, the microphone sounds absolutely horrible and there's just no excuse for that in such an office or communication focused laptop. Given that the Z16 is a larger 16 inch device, upgrade options are more reminiscent of smaller Ultrabooks. The RAM and Wi-Fi card are soldered to the motherboard and there is only one M.2 slot. For a device in this class, we at least expect changeable RAM and ideally a second M.2 slot. When it comes to the keyboard and trackpad, Lenovo also made some bigger changes compared to the traditional ThinkPad layout. If you are like me and do not have much experience with older ThinkPad keyboards, chances are you really enjoy typing on the Z16. It offers plenty of travel compared to the competition with a clear and crisp pressure point that just feels right. If you are however a true ThinkPad traditionalist, you might have a bit of an adjustment period. With less travel than you're used to, square keycaps instead of the usual U-shaped keys and also some more or less significant layout changes, like the smaller arrow keys and the swapped function and control positions. All in all, the layout looks clean and for me personally, the ThinkPad did a fine job during regular use and typing out the scripts for this video. The trackpad, however, leaves no room for discussion. It is simply one of the best you can currently find in a Windows notebook. And the haptic feedback and overall quality of use comes real close to Apple's offerings. If you use the trackpoint a lot, you might miss the dedicated click buttons above the trackpad but the haptic equivalents should also do their job after some getting used to. In typical business laptop fashion, Lenovo offers several display options. Our review unit comes with a very solid, if a little boring, full HD panel. 
that offers solid specs and very high brightness. It covers almost 100% of the sRGB color space, making it even suitable for photo editing or design work within that color range, and video grading for web usage, just like this video you're watching right now. Color reproduction from the factory is pretty good, as is shown by the low delta E values from our measurements. If you want to use this for somewhat color critical work, you might want to do your own manual calibration, since this would improve color deviation even further. If you own a Z16 but do not have access to calibration equipment, you can head over to our website and download our ICC profile. While our review unit comes with the Ryzen Pro 6850H and the RX 6500M, you can also choose between the 6 core 6650H or the Ryzen 9 6950H, with or without the dedicated GPU and with either 16 or 32GB of soldered DDR6400 memory. In our case, the 45W 8-core Ryzen offers solid performance numbers. Even though it falls behind the latest 12th gen Intel offerings and also has to give up a couple of points against Apple's M1 Pro or M1 Max. While the Intel CPUs have the edge in single core and short term multi core loads, over time performance numbers level out quite close to each other. If you will notice the performance differences during everyday use, will be very dependent on your workflows and what you plan to do with your laptop. One key advantage of AMD's offerings, much like Apple's latest CPUs, is the almost unchanged performance on battery. Most Intel equipped machines have to throttle away from the wall. System performance feels more than adequate even when you push the system in video editing or when processing some images in Photoshop or Capture One for example. Our PC Mark benchmarks reflect our subjective impression, placing the Team Red ThinkPad in the middle of the pack. While the PCIe SSD in the Z16 is a very fast drive, the competition offers faster drives across the board, even if that should hardly be a problem during day-to-day -day use. Our benchmarks will raise some drops in read speeds after constant load, but again, these hardly reflect regular use. In the GPU department, the RX 6500M delivers good performance for such a slim and office-focused device and is able to beat out the RTX 3050 or 3050Ti in its competitors in synthetic benchmarks. Blender paints the usual pictures when we are talking about AMD versus Nvidia. While using the RX 6500M is considerably faster than CPU rendering, only CUDA rendering enables the AMD card to keep up with something like an RTX 3050. As soon as the Nvidia cards can flex their RT muscles, they absolutely demolish Team Red's entry-level GPU. Even though the Z16 might look all business, the GPU is a quite capable, casual gaming performer, enabling you to run almost all modern games in high settings at something close to 60fps. It might not give you the competitive edge in fast shooters, but for the occasional story game after a long day at the office, the slim notebook will not disappoint. When you push either the CPU or GPU, the Z16 gets audible but never in a way that is inappropriate for the performance it delivers. In idle or low load scenarios, it can even rival Apple's MacBook Pro 16, even though the M1 is a bit quieter enough for load. Compared to Intel equipped notebooks like the XPS 15 or 17, the AMD Lenovo leaves a much better impression. We took some noise samples for you so that you can get an idea for yourself. For our exact measured numbers, please head over to our written review. The quieter fans result in higher than usual surface temperatures. While it was never uncomfortable using the Z16 under load, especially the area above the keyboard can be used as a hand warmer during the colder winter days. During our stress test running both IDA64 and Fermark, our ring unit failed to remain stable at first, but after a firmware update performance as well as stability was rock solid for the ThinkPad. 
While the Z16 cannot compete directly with the speakers found in Apple's MacBook Pros, they still sound better than the majority of laptop speakers out there. They offer a very clear sound stage, get reasonably loud and even deliver some low frequencies and should please most users for YouTube, Netflix or some casual tunes while working. In terms of battery life, the slim Lenovo has to make do with a 72 watt hour battery, which is the lowest capacity compared to the competition. That said, it can easily beat Intel equipped devices like Dell's XPS lineup. With almost 10 hours in our Wi-Fi standard test, the Z16 will be a great companion during your workday. Even though Apple still holds the crown in this regard thanks to its efficient CPU architecture and large capacity batteries. Alright folks, let's wrap this up. The Z16 is actually a great laptop. And while we had some initial problems with our unit, they have been completely fixed with a firmware update and left us with a very good looking and well performing notebook. Lenovo managed to walk the thin line by pleasing both ThinkPad enthusiasts as well as more casual power users by making the Z16 quite interesting for content creators or lifestyle users. While I would love to see the OLED model, the Full HD screen offers no reason to complain and probably also aids with the Z16's stellar battery life. Performance numbers both in the CPU as well as in the GPU department can also keep up with the competition and make the slim AMD notebook suitable for a huge variety of use cases. This would be it for today guys, thanks a ton for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Alex, you have been absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.